a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, alleges his employees were required to carry pink cocaine, a drug cocktail similar to what was found in Liam Payne's system after his death. The drug, which includes ecstasy, ketamine, and 2CB, was reportedly kept on hand for Combs and his celebrity guests at parties. The lawsuit also claims Combs's staff ensured he was regularly supplied with drugs like cocaine and marijuana gummies. Combs denies the allegations and seeks to have the case dismissed. Hola, buenos días. Recién llamé que se me acordó. Llamo el Hotel Casa Sur Palermo, Costa Rica 6032. ¿Qué sucede en el lugar, señor? Eh, bueno, tenemos un huésped que está sobrepasado de droga y alcohol. Y bueno, está, cuando está consciente, eh, rompe, está rompiendo toda la habitación. Y bueno, necesitamos que manden a alguien, por favor. Bajo efectos de alcohol y esto por paciente, ¿no, señor? Sí, correcto. Me dijo Costa Rica, ¿a qué altura, señor? Discúlpeme. Sí. Costa Rica 6032. Esto pertenece a Capital, ¿no? Entre Arevalo y Kramer. Sí. sí. ¿Hotel, me dice? Eh, ¿Cómo se llama el hotel? Casa Sur Palermo. Y necesitamos que nos envíen alguien urgente porque, bueno, yo no sé si corre riesgo la vida del huésped. Eh, sí. Está en una habitación que, que tiene balcón y, bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo que... Que le ponga antes de ¿Hace cuánto que está ahí o es un hotel de vivienda? No, no, es hace dos o tres días que está acá. Comprendo, no sabría ningún dato porque no pueden ingresar, ¿no? No. Notificamos a lo que es el personal de SAME, también, ¿escuchó? Sí, lo que yo te pido eh, es que venga alguien urgente porque, bueno... Eh, en la llamada perfecto. se notificó, ¿algún dato más para aportarme? ¿Usted quién sería? ¿Es encargado? Yo soy el jefe de recepción. Encargado del lugar sería, ¿no? Sí, sí. Ya se notificó. ¿Cómo se llama usted por último, señor? Esteban. Ya se notificó. Hacer el móvil, por favor. Ok. Gracias por comunicarse. ¿Puede liberar la línea? Eh, ¿Mandan a la policía también a o no? La policía de lo que es la comuna. Deme un segundo que se... Comuna que no, no. El SAME. No, no. Eh, no, solamente al SAME. Solamente al SAME. Comprendo. No se preocupe que ya se notificó igual. Ok, perfecto, bueno, o sea muchas como gracias. Usted me dice que está bajo los efectos del alcohol y estupefaciente, no, el SAME no entra solo. No entra solo el SAME. No. Ok. Igual okay. se notifica. Igual si usted llega, llega el personal policial, le explica y si requiere el SAME, le dan aviso. Bueno, ok, perfecto. Se notifico igual. Que tenga un buen día, señor. Bueno, gracias igualmente. Liam Payne was reportedly given pink cocaine by two workers, Aldana Milagro Serrano and Lucila Marianela Goitea, just hours before his tragic fall from a hotel balcony. The women met Payne through an escort website and spent time with him at his Buenos Aires hotel, where they drank alcohol. After a payment dispute, they left. Witnesses described Payne as upset and agitated, pacing and arguing about money. A 911 call later revealed he had overindulged in drugs and alcohol before his fatal fall. Shortly before his tragic fall, two girls entered Liam Payne's hotel room, adding a layer of mystery to the events that unfolded that night. Eyewitnesses reported that they stayed for a brief period, leading to speculation about what transpired during their visit. Their presence raises questions about whether their interactions influenced the volatile situation that followed. As details emerge, investigators are left to piece together the significance of this encounter in the timeline leading up to Liam's untimely demise. We are just confirming with police in Buenos Aires that Liam Payne has died at the age of 31. Police say in a statement that he fell from the third floor in a hotel. I want to read you part of the statement that we have obtained from police in Argentina, Jake. They say in the afternoon that police personnel were directed to the hotel after a 911 call where they were informed about a quote, aggressive man who could be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Those are all the details that we have now. Obviously, uh, this coming as a huge shock. This is not somebody who 
was sick or who there were any concerns that uh, that fans were aware of. Uh, as you hear from the police statement and from these limited details that we have, uh, this obviously sounds like a horror that he fell from the third floor in a hotel uh, when they found him. As you said, Jake, millions of fans are going to be devastated about this news. Liam Payne was one of the members of One Direction, which was founded after the boy banders met on the reality show The X Factor and went on to be one of the most successful boy bands of all time. Liam Payne along with Harry Styles is, you know, of course, a name that everybody knows. And this band has been broken up uh, for quite a few years, but his millions and millions of fans around the world have remained. So we're learning new details about Liam Payne's final moments before the former One Direction singer plunged from a hotel balcony in Buenos Aires and died Wednesday. Prosecutors say evidence suggests the singer was going through a substance abuse episode and may have been semi or totally unconscious when he fell from a third floor hotel balcony. Inside his hotel room, police said it was, quote, total disorder with destroyed objects and furniture, along with anti-anxiety medication, narcotics, and alcohol. An autopsy determined the star died of multiple traumas and internal bleeding as a result of the fall. This morning, shock and sorrow as fans around the world mourn the death of former One Direction member Liam Payne. The 31-year-old pop star falling roughly 40 feet from his third floor hotel room in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Medics pronouncing him dead at the scene. Overnight, crowds gathering outside the hotel, singing his songs in mourning. We can live forever. I, I can't explain how I'm feeling right now. I'm shaking as questions swirl over the circumstances of his death. With reports saying Payne had been acting aggressively and erratically in the hotel's lobby moments before the tragedy. Audio obtained by the Associated Press revealing this 911 call before his death by the hotel manager speaking in Spanish. The manager then saying he was scared for the guest's life. Morning, everybody. Payne had been in Argentina since early October when he attended a concert of former One Direction bandmate Niall Horan, sharing this photo of the two. In Snapchat photos and videos posted in the hours before his fall, he wondered about dressing as Forrest Gump for Halloween. He also shared this final photo with girlfriend Kate Cassidy. The photo was actually taken a year earlier. Cassidy was with Payne on the trip, but had returned to the United States a few days earlier. Payne leaves behind one seven-year-old son, Bear. And that image just haunting of him looking up at the billboard of his father. Now, authorities in Argentina are investigating the circumstances of his death, conducting an autopsy. This tragedy is prompting a tidal wave of grief, and along it, with it, a lot of soul-searching questions. A memorial for singer Liam Payne is taking place in Hyde Park in London this afternoon, organised by One Direction fans. The 31-year-old was found dead in Argentina on Wednesday afternoon after falling from the balcony of his third-floor hotel room. And these pictures live into us, as you can see, hundreds, if not possibly thousands of people gathering to pay tribute. Our correspondent, Alice Porter, is there for us. Alice. Devastating video showing Liam Payne comparing tattoos and talking with his fans outside his hotel just days before his tragic death. The One Direction star died after falling from the third floor of his hotel yesterday, leaving his fans in shock. Liam took time to make his fans' dream come true earlier in the week by posing for pictures, signing autographs and listening to their stories. One fan credited Liam with saving my life and grew emotional meeting his hero. It prompted Liam to give the man a hug before they compared matching arrow tattoos on their arm. In another clip, Liam sang in Spanish to a female 
new mug band after she asked him if he'd been listening to any of the locals' music. There was also a montage of the smiling pop star meeting and greeting supporters, some of whom mirrored his smile while others broke down in tears. A 911 call was made by a frantic hotel manager requesting urgent assistance before Liam died. He was staying at the Hotel Casa Sur in the neighbourhood of Palermo, where crowds of fans flocked to pay their respects as the news of the singer's death spread. <laughs> What you see here is one of the last videos posted by Liam Payne right before he tragically died at the age of 31. Good morning, everybody. Here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. So a lovely day here in Argentina. This is the breakfast table. I'm just eating an orange. Just enjoying coffee and breakfast, even though it's like 1 p.m. Literally, we sleep in every day until at least 12. Except for the losers. No. No? Liam Payne's cause of death has been revealed. An early autopsy saying among Liam's 25 injuries, his severe head trauma alone was enough to kill the 31-year-old singer, who plummeted three stories from his hotel balcony on Wednesday in Buenos Aires. We need to send someone to an urgent because, well, I don't know if the risk of life of the guest. It's in a room that has a balcony and, well, we're a little bit afraid to do something. Paramedics pronounced Liam dead at the scene. It's unknown if he was with anyone before his 45-foot fall, which police also haven't confirmed to be intentional or accidental. But we know investigators are not leaning towards foul play. And the 911 call from Liam's hotel hinted at a chaotic scene